Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome to Urban. Golden Gap here, perfect, beautiful, fantastic, amazing Golden Gap. Um, really was not supposed to have any kind of earnings out today and had some kind of pre-announcement thing. And actually, no, it was last night. It was last night that it did it, and I saw it last night, and then it didn't have trading this morning until late, and then it opened and just dropped like a brick. Uh, this is one of these great examples where something goes, and not only goes, goes to the first target rather quickly. Uh, here was the first target. It broke it, okay? 38, 11, 38 was the first target. It broke that, went all the way down here, and actually broke it by 20-some cents, but it didn't make it down to the bigger number. I was a little surprised today. However, this didn't really have any help from the market. And as the day went on, the day went on, and the afternoon went on, and the market kept going up and higher and higher. This could break full on. Here was the next area. Well, it was only 20 cents, 20, 30 cents from it. This is actually a pretty big area here now that I'm seeing this. I thought possibly in here, 37.50, 37.30. But I'm seeing this now here, 3760, and it didn't get there. I won't be surprised if this continued tomorrow, though. This is really actually very damaging. Seeing this now here. This is a damaging gap. I mean, I knew that when I saw it last night, too. Uh, it's more damaging than I thought here, though, as I'm looking at this. So the play in this today was the morning. The morning right out of the gate. And once again, the most aggressive pet trade was the one that paid the best as far as risk to reward. And not only that, fast money. You take an aggressive trade, how can you do that? You rate the gap. You rate the gap. The gap rates high. You do it. And if it rates well and rates over 20 points, you take it aggressively and you do it on a one-minute chart. From the time this opened here, the high of this is 39.70 and the drop down in the morning it did it. It almost ran $2 right from the time that it opened down like a brick into 945. The low of the day actually was 945. The low of the day in the stock was 945. That was it. That was the low of the day in this. So gap trading, early morning trading, right into it, aggressive entry. When the stock rates over 20 points on the gap, you take it, you get in, boom. That's that's the way to do it in these things. I do think this is lower tomorrow. I'm, this is absolutely 100% not going on the watch list for a continuation gap. I don't know if it's going to do it right away as tomorrow. I'm, my sense is it may break again tomorrow simply because it didn't continue down into the later part of the afternoon. It may have been the market or just was exhausted from the gap itself and then the break this morning because really it closed the night before up here at 42.72. And then open the next day down here at 39.55. So that is huge. That's a $3 break. And then the thing opened and ran down $2. So it ran $5 from overnight until the morning. It was just pooped. It just was exhausted. I, I see this now. It was just tired. It couldn't do anything else with itself today. So because it was tired and it rested and rested, but really held this. And it, it held this nicely. Here, it barely could get over 50% of it, and it looked great for continuation, but then it rallied up against it, but still, it really rallied only halfway up from the original drop that it made in the morning, and then it broke again, and where it closed was through the break of half of it. You know, I mean, this barely had any retracement whatsoever back up into it. This is just short covering here. It's all that's going on in these green bars. This is a beautiful gap here today. Really, really nice golden gap on urban and follow through is highly likely. I'm not sure if it's going to do it right away tomorrow, but it still has some area left in it tomorrow. So in an ideal world, this opens tomorrow neutral somewhere around this thing here and then breaks the low of the day and drops down to 37.60 and goes. So it might have an 80 cents moving in or something tomorrow. I would be shocked if this does anything green tomorrow, but it might have one rest day, and maybe then it'll break again. I have to see. So this was a very nice, beautiful gap today, Golden Gap on Urban. If you'd like more information on how to rate gaps, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.